Well, we're back on Modern Warfare. Some people thought I was quitting it. Some people thought I was completely done with it. And I'm not done with it. I just want to be done with it. There's a difference between what I want and what I'm actually doing. Which I guess is how you decide who's a winner and who's a loser. Because I said at the beginning of this whole thing that I wanted to unlock the mask of camo, you know? Obviously not at the beginning of the game. I didn't really care at the beginning. I decided later on, like a month or two into the game's life cycle, that I wanted to get it. Which I wish I would have already... You know, I wish I would have decided from day one, or maybe even before the game came out, that I was going to do this, because I would already have it. But anyway, I decided, and I'm sticking with it. I said I wanted it, I'm going to do it. I said I was going to do it, I was going to get the camo, I'm going to get it. I'm going to play it through, I'm going to get it. Because that's, that's what winners do, that's what, you know, people who don't give up do. They stick through it, they do what they said they were going to do, and I'm going to do what I said I'm going to do. No matter how long it takes, no matter how much time it takes, no matter how miserable it makes me feel. So, that's what I'm going to be doing. I heard him coming, I just wasn't sure, like, if I was going to be able to kill him. Nope, I got him. If I say I'm going to do something, I'm going to do it. I've always had that mentality and that self-discipline and just, you know, self-independence to just be able to set my mind to something and do it. And I've always been that way. And I think it's, and I'm very happy that I am that way because if I want to achieve a goal or something, I'm going to do it. It may take forever, but at least I know that I'm going to do it. I think that's something that everyone tries to work on and everyone wishes that they could do. I know a lot of people try to work on themselves personally and try to be able to do that. And it's taken me a long time to be able to work on myself to be able to do something like that and to be able to just say that. And I hope that was the guy from earlier because that'd be kind of funny. I killed his partner and then I killed him. But it's something that people always try to work on, and I'm happy that, you know, I have got that far, and I've reached that mentality. Teammate. Teammate. That was just disrespectful. So if you thought I was going to quit the game or anything, you know, I'm still playing it, you know. I'm going to push myself through it, because... At the end of the day, because, you know, how my mentality works and everything, if I don't do it, if I don't get the camo, I'm going to hate myself even more. I'm going to be more disappointed in myself than I am right now. Like, yeah, I, I hate myself already, and I'm stressed out and depressed because of this game and because of the camo challenges, but if I don't get that camo, I'm going to despise myself even more. I'm going to hate it. I have to get it. So, like I said, if you thought I wasn't going to get it, just know... Or if you thought I was just going to give up, I ain't giving up. No. I have to get this. Got Roman Atwood's flavor of Bahama Mama. You know, first time ever drinking it. It's actually really good. Definitely might be one of my... I don't want to say my favorite. It's not my favorite. But it's definitely maybe top five. I knew. I saw his flash. I saw it down there. I try, you know, I try, I just, maybe I should have killed him first, or I don't know. I don't really think there was a situation where I could have won that. Because he was already aimed in, looking at me, just trying to get his right on sight to, you know, nail me and kill me. Before I could even try to get him. I don't think I could have won that. I just don't think it was possible. So my introduction to Vex Uprising is finally out on YouTube. It's up on the Vex Uprising channel. Um, you guys can go check it out. I'm gonna put the link in the description. I'm probably gonna post the montage to my channel tomorrow or a few within a few days because it's been out for two days already. And I was just gonna let it, you know, be up on the channel on the team channel for a few days before I uploaded it to mine. Um, the reason I want to upload it to mine is because I'm very proud of it, and you know, I have no idea what the future for Vex is. You know, what what if one day the channel got taken down or one day they deleted all the videos or privated them all i want to have the video up on my channel and i want to have that video up because it was a really great montage great clips really satisfied you know i've been in the team for a year and a half probably now probably a year and a half now and i joined my sophomore year i think or maybe it was my freshman year i'm not sure i think it was my sophomore year um i think it was the very beginning of my sophomore year and i'm in my junior year mid-junior year almost like 
yeah, mid junior year now. So, and I've been in the team for quite a while now, over a year. Like I said, almost a year and a half. And I'm very proud of the montage. Like I said, great clips, great edit. And I'm honestly, I know I have waited so long for my introduction. Like I never thought it was gonna be uploaded at this point. Because I had my clips to it, I've made several folders, I added new clips to it, like I, I took out old clips and added new clips into it several times, and I just never could get a person to really edit it for me. I've had people say they were going to edit it, and they just kind of stopped editing it, and they started it and just never finished it. And I had the song chosen, um, oh wait, Lowry's song, Blood in the Water, and then finally, they had Hook, great editor, he edited it, and I mean, fantastic edit, I really... And I really enjoyed it. I love the montage, and I'm honestly okay with waiting how long I waited because I waited a year and a half. But I'm okay with waiting that long because of how great it turned out. The montage was so good that I'm glad I waited that long because if I didn't wait that long, maybe it wouldn't have been as good, and maybe I wouldn't have got that editor or whatever. So anyway, you know, I'm Sin. Sin was gonna edit it. I'm sure Sin would have edited it amazingly. I'm sure Sin's montage that he had in store. I'm sure it would have been great. But Hook ended up editing it, and it was great. I'm fa like, great, fantastic montage, and I'm happy with it. So I'm going to upload it on my channel within a few days. Um, but I'm going to put the link in the description so you guys should totally go check it out. It was great. It was just fantastic. Long shot. That's good, because that's basically all I need right now is long shots. I need my kills, or three kills without dying too, but that kind of just happens from playing. Um, and I know you can say long shots happen from playing too, but when you play certain game modes it doesn't happen like when you play shoot house 24 7 or you play shipment 24 7 you don't really get those long shots so this is good you know i needed this game mode this map so getting these long shots and uh, hopefully if i don't be done with this gun i know they buffed it and they nerfed the other gun so it's better than m4 or whatever at least that's what people are saying i'm not buying it i'm still gonna say the m4 is probably better but i don't know i haven't used the m4 in forever so I have no idea, but just from my gut feeling and how I these developers work, I would imagine that the M4 is probably still better. Just in my opinion, I have no idea, and I'll have to try it out and see. I tried, my teammate didn't care. He wanted me dead. My teammate's like, nope, you gonna die. Cock block. These last few days, you know, I've really lacked motivation for making videos and stuff just because of how I, this game has been hurting me mentally, physically, and just how I've been feeling about this game and just all this not wanting to play it. But, you know, Gary V, he posted this video to Instagram and he was talking about stuff and he said, you know, you might work a full-time job, you know, you get off at 9.45, but you really love making apple pies. And just being, you know, Gary V is an entrepreneur. Really inspired me. He said, you really enjoy this but you're doing this you're, you're working here but you enjoy this but you know you have to make a living in stuff still so you're doing babysitting and you know say you really like making pumpkin pie and you say nine dollars pumpkin pie who wants it and you have some neighbors who already know that you make pumpkin pie and you know they buy it their kids end up liking it so now they're and i have four people buying it blah 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 get more and more people buying it and the next thing you know you wake up and it's, you have 42 people who want it and you know you don't have time to make it because you work till 9:45. He says you work till 9:45. You get home and you make four that night, four pumpkin pies that night. You know, yeah, that takes time and that takes time away from sleeping. But all these people, you know, they get home from school, they get home from work, and they watch Netflix and they do whatever instead of putting in five hours on their business. This is what Gary Vee says. And I'm like, yeah, that makes sense. You know, I do the same thing. You know, I come home, I watch YouTube for a while, and then I'll make my video when I should come home make my video right away and that's kind of why my videos go up late and so you know i should definitely be more on top of it and it definitely inspired me today so shout out to gary v um my vex introducing will be in the description it'll probably be up on my channel either tomorrow or the next within the next few days and yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video um we're back on this normal stupid daily schedule with these stupid games and yeah i hope you guys enjoyed i'll see you guys tomorrow i'm nuclear i'm out peace